Hi everyone! Today I will be showing you how to make this teeny little broccoli charm. Isn't this cute? Okay, so this is an original design by me. And it's not very big, as you can see compared to a regular rainbow loom hook. It's about an inch. Anyway, what you're going to need for this project is two different shades of green. And um, I have a handful of green here. I don't really have that much green left, just my luck, because I made a little Kermit the Frog today. It turned out adorable. By the way, let me show you. Here's Kermit! Yay! So here's him, and that was made by, I believe, DIY Mommy. DIY Mommy, you did a very good job. If you would like to know how to make that tiny little Kermit charm, it was about an advanced to intermediate level, if you wanted to know what the Kermit charm was. So, and I also, when I went, when I made the Patrick Star charm, I did not mention that you can make other figures like this. This is the Hulk that I made my brother. You know, basic figure, instead of pink, you use green, and instead of green and purple, you just use plain old purple. He turned out awesome too. Okay, so, you're going to need one loom in the staggered configuration with the arrow pointing away from you. Now you're gonna take one single black and you're going to put it from the first peg to the second peg in the center. Now you're going to take your darker shade of green. Let me try to sort through this, see which one is darker. Okay. Um, I don't really... Hmm. Huh. Anyway. And what you want to do is you want to put from the center, second peg, to the left, third peg. Again, sorry for my camera work. Um, but this turn does turn out nice. Okay. Yay! Yay. So then take the same of this, this, the more, two more of the same color, and you want to take them from the second pin in the center to the third pin in the center. Voila! Next, you want to take two more of the same color, the dark green color that you have, and you want to go from the center second peg to the right left, to the right second. Okay? So, then you want to close it off, which is really easy. You just take two more dark green and place it like that and then do the same thing on the other side. Okay. I'm going to take from the second center to the third. I mean second right to the third right. I'm sorry, I'm really weird today. Anyway, then you want to take your lighter color of green. I know this looks yellow, but trust me, it is green. Two more of the... Oopsies. Go forward one. Go forward another one. And then you want to cap it off right here. Taking another light green and twisting it like three or four times. Again, I'm trying to do this project one-handed, so um, there will be a slight dark screen while I fix it, but it won't be very long. Okay. All right. Now it's time to loop. Turn it around, and you will see that it has the broccoli. That's like the broccoli form. So now. It's time to loop. Now make sure that your arrow is pointing towards you. As you can see here. Oopsies. Right here. Arrow is pointing toward me. Then you want to go in the cat band. 
And you want to grab the very two bottom. And you want to hold that down with your thumb, but I can't do that right now. Ta-da! And hang on a second so I can get that to catch. Great, now you want to see a nice teardrop forming. Okay? So you want to go in and you want to grab the next two and you want to loop from here to here. And there's nothing to even push out of the way. Okay? All right, so you want to go in and you want to grab the first two rubber bands, which should go out to my left, which go out to the left. If I can grab them. Sorry, it's not catching. I'm so sorry, guys. I really, really am. Again, apologizing for my camera work, so I don't want to see a ton of hate comments. Thank you. And then again, just uh, go in here and loop this to this. this. Bottom two. Okay, now make sure you don't see a teardrop. That's supposed to be like a slight triangle at this point. And then you want to go in and you want to grab them. And it's going to go out to there, okay? Sorry, I'm a little confused. It's okay, I got it. Okay. So you want to go from there to there, and then again, you just want to go in, loop this from there. Finally, you want to go in here, and you want to loop that forward. That's your little broccoli, but... It's not done yet. If you try to take it off the loom, it's gonna get ruined. Cause you need to make the slip knot. So, you wanna go in, and you wanna grab the very bottom black, and loop it forward. And now you see, you wanna get the bottom band. I'm sorry, hang on. The bottom band. And you wanna loop it onto itself. Okay? Gently pull. You don't want to do this too hard. See the loop forming? That's a knot. Okay. So, I'm going to pull off from the bottom. Mine's not going to turn out perfect because I just... Alright. So, here's your broccoli. You need to fix it a little bit, but that's the way it's supposed to look. Hang on. Let me fix it. Now you can fix it up. That's the way it's supposed to look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Here's the better one. The little broccoli charm. I used one for that. Anyway. So, yay! Hope you liked this little tutorial. I will soon be making the, um, I'm sorry. I have a ton of charms on here. The carrot, which is right here. Now remember, this is an original design by me, but you can copy it in your own video as long as you give me credit. Thanks for watching.